Hey nerds, Bevan here. Welcome back to my channel. Doing something very different here today with today's video. Today, twice, redundant, I get it, whatever. Um, I am doing a different kind of a vlog today. Uh, I am a big fan of what they call booktube, which essentially is just like YouTube, but all the people talk about is books, which is kind of cool. And one of the staples of this booktube community is the weekly reading vlog where they read and then they talk about what they read and it's not like a review it's like it's hard to explain but i'm a big fan of them it's fun uh so what i've decided to do is do a, a comic book reading view for i wasn't wearing pants for a second <laughs> anyway um I am going to kind of do like a weekend vlog, mostly focused around what I be reading comic book wise. Uh, so what I have before me here is Alien, sorry, Symbiote Spider-Man, Alien Reality, and I just dropped the book. Can you tell it's 6.30 in the morning I haven't had my coffee yet? Anyway, here's issue one. Uh, so I was reading the series before COVID, and then COVID hit, and I had to wait, I think, like an extra eight months or seven months or something like that for um, the final fifth issue to come out. So that finally came out. So I'm going to be reading that this weekend. And instead of doing like what I would normally do for comics, where I would like take notes throughout the whole thing and then just like give a big chunky review all at once, even, like maybe even like the issues aren't fresh in my head or whatever. After each issue I read, I'm going to do a check-in with you and let you know what I think of it so that you can get like more of a live reaction instead of like the overall arching uh, of everything. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then I'll, make, I'll just show you like a couple of different things too that I did this weekend. It's not much, I promise. I don't really have plans ever for anything. But like, let me know what you think of the format. If you, if you enjoyed it, maybe I'll do some more. If you didn't enjoy it, then I won't do any more because I think it's gonna be a lot more work than my usual videos. Uh, so please give me any feedback you can on how you think this video went. Um, for now though, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and watch the highlights from yesterday's basketball games, including the Lakers and Rockets and Bucks and Heat. So I'm gonna get to that. And then once I start to get into the comics, I'll let you guys know. So I'm just doing the regular routine, had my coffee and watched the basketball highlights. Now I'm taking flash for a walk. And I figured I'd just pop on and let you guys know a bit more about the series I'm reading, uh, Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality. Whew. Walking and talking is, is hard. Uh, anyway, this is a, it's actually a sequel series. Symbiote Spider-Man was the first one. And basically what this is, is like the untold stories of the Symbiote Spider-Man era when he had the black suit. I didn't read the first one. I have no idea what that one was like, but this one uh, I know just based on the covers involves Hobgoblin and Mysterio and Doctor Strange. So should be pretty weird. I think actually, because I read the first couple issues like way back at the beginning of the year, and I think there was like some kind of time travel involved. So yeah, weird, right? But yeah, when uh, me and Flash get home, I'll be sitting down to read probably the first couple of issues and then oh, found something on the ground there. Uh, read the first couple of issues, let you guys know what's going on. I may or may not get all of it done today. Some of it may be tomorrow. So you may see me in different clothes later in the video. Who knows? But should be good. Again, let me know what you think of this format. Okay, so here is the book. About to sit down and read. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about it here first. Uh, writer, Peter David, Greg Land, Jay uh, Lysand, and Frank DeMarta on art. I don't know any of those names, but that doesn't mean they're not big deals. I just don't know them. just wanted to show you guys some of the art in the book here. I have a spaceship and an ad for Contest of Champions. There's some Doctor Strange. So like the art's pretty good. It's a style I really enjoy. And we got Craven in here. Okay, I don't want to give it to you guys too much for spoilers before I even read it. But yeah, sitting there and read this right now. Once I finish issue one, I'll check back in and let you know what I thought about it.
Uh, so I just finished issue one of Symbiote Spider-Man, and this thing is all kinds of crazy. So you guys got a little bit of a teaser that there was a battle with Carnage. So in the Carnage, Spider-Man gets some kind of like toxin and hits his head, and he wakes up, and all of a sudden, everything is different. Craven's a good guy. Natasha Romanoff, aka the Black Widow, is actually the Black Cat. Uh, so he, Spider-Man's all confused, so he goes to find Doctor Strange, uh, Wong, who is the assistant to Doctor Strange, has no idea who Doctor Strange is. So he's like, let me take you to the apprentice or the acolyte of the Sorcerer Supreme, motherfucking Hobgoblin. Yeah, so it's wild. So they do battle, and Spider-Man is then saved by Stephen Strange uh, at the end of the issue, and that's the cliffhanger. So now, move on to issue two. So just finished issue two, and it was just as wild if close that uh it was just as wild if not more wild than issue one uh so the issue starts off dr strange sorry stephen strange is filling in spider-man on what happened so basically uh some guy posing as a journalist went into dr strange's uh house i guess and stole this book of god and it's a big book of spells and it changed the world essentially they did some kind of spell to alter reality and in this new reality, uh, uh, Strange and Parker have their same memories, but nobody else does. Uh, so obviously someone is targeting those two specifically. And uh, Peter decides he wants to go check on Aunt May, so he does. But lo and behold, his Uncle Ben is still alive in this reality. So they're hanging out. But then Hobgoblin kind of crashes the party. And a, a fight ensues between Hobgoblin and Spider-Man and an explosion happens, and Aunt May dies, and Ben Parker blames Peter for it, and uh, Parker decides it's time to get serious, and he is going to learn magic from Doctor Strange, and uh, that's how issue two ends. Oh, Flash, yeah, sleepy girl, you got some stuff in your right there? Yeah. Good girl. Just finished issue three, and honestly, I read the first three issues months ago, and I don't remember it being this good. Let me just go through this with you real quick. Okay, so, uh, Strange and Spider-Man and Potato Head. Just kidding. Uh, Strange and Spider-Man and the Red Cat, Natasha Romanoff. Uh, go to some like mysterious castle to train Morbius is there and uh, tries to kill spider-man. However uh, They escape blah 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 couple ads um, Sorry, I gotta go back one page here uh, I didn't touch on this in issue one, but the same thing kind of happened with Craven um, Spider-man basically just Beats the shit out of him. Get out of here. Go in your kennel. Spider-Man just kind of like beats the shit out of the bad guy. And uh, Doctor Strange realizes that it's the suit. It's the black symbiote who's controlling Peter because he's not answering any questions. Uh, Spider-Man doesn't know, stuff like that. It's pretty crazy. Uh, anyway, they do some training. Here's a montage. Black cat looking good. Red cat, whatever. Um, so he's teaching him mystic art stuff. Comes to fight Dr. Octopus. And they pulled off like a really cool illusion spell. And that's how they beat him. And then they go... Got another cat here. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. So they're fighting Hobgoblin. And then, uh, so another illusion spell. I guess illusion and spell are the same things, but whatever. Um, action scene. Get away from the hobgoblin. This is hard to do with one hand. <clears throat> uh, and it turns out the Sorcerer Supreme is this guy, Baron Mordo, who is a villain I'm not familiar with. So I'm assuming he's a Doctor Strange bad guy. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so... They're fighting, there's an action scene. And then the cliffhanger, oops, went too far. 
the cliffhanger and a spoiler warning in case you weren't already spoiled enough. Red Cat is working with the bad guys. Okay, so we're sitting down to read issue four, uh, which I have not read. So all of that I had read previously, didn't remember a whole lot of it, uh, but this is brand new content to me. So let's see, I'm enjoying this a lot more than I did before actually. Uh, the first time I read it, I was like, it's kind of boring, but it's like really exciting actually. I, so far I really recommend it. Uh, we'll see how it ends and then I'll let you know if I actually do recommend it or not. Uh, just finished issue four of Alien Reality. And while a lot of really cool stuff happened visually in the book, Nothing super important happened until the end. Uh, so basically, Doctor Strange and Peter Parker go to the Nightmare Realm, uh, where this dude called Nightmare has the book of spells that Hobgoblin and uh, Mordo had been using. Um, so they go and get it, but it's a fake book. So now they're like stuck there and stuff. Uh, yeah, like nothing crazy important happened, but uh, issue five should be quite a banger, hopefully. I finished, I'm done the series. Uh, and issue five kind of left me really disappointed. Um, I don't really even know how to sum it up a whole lot. Like they went and they did battle and they, I don't know, it just like, it was kind of what you expected. Like they did magic and like they said it all right. Um, I guess like one of the things I didn't touch on earlier was the fact that after uh, May, Parker died, the Peter, like, kind of left his own body, I guess. They didn't really expand it that well. But the symbiote took over and, like, controlled everything from that point going forward. I also didn't mention, because I was kind of like, eh, on issue four as well. But at the end of issue four, Mordo burned that uh, Book of God with all the spells, so it was gone. So they actually recreated it in issue five. Uh, Spider-Man and Strange did and that's how they got back to uh, to reality and that's how they beat Mordo and Hobgoblin and I don't know it just felt really anticlimactic um, it's like I, yeah I don't know I that the first three issues were like really really good okay these cats keep walking all my fucking comic books and they're driving me crazy get off the camera off mm. So like maybe it's just cause like I'm not really into Doctor Strange. Um, it, I guess if you're into Doctor Strange, you'd like this a lot more than I did. But like I said, I really liked the first three issues. I thought there was really good action. And then when it went into like the magic stuff, it wasn't as good. The is issues one, two, and three all had really good cliffhangers. Issue four didn't, it was just like the setup. It's like, okay, now we're getting back to, to finish this. And then in issue five, they beat the bad guys and ended it. And uh, it ended with just like Spider-Man or Peter Parker woke up and was really confused. And then uh, Black Widow actually woke up and she was in a movie theater. And that's the last panel of the comic. And it just really left me feeling flat about the whole thing. But if you are into Doctor Strange, I do recommend it. It was a really good read for the first three issues for me. Um, and I feel like if you were into more of the magic elements of comic books, you'd really enjoy it. So... I do recommend it in that way. But that is the end of the video. Please let me know what you thought of this. Uh, I kind of enjoyed doing it, giving you a reaction after each issue, instead of doing a whole review of the series after I've read it all. Because I don't know if I really would have put together in a full review of the series that I really enjoyed issues one, two, and three, but not so much four and five. So I think that's just a different perspective on everything. But I'm gonna leave you with that. Uh, please comment below, let me know what you thought. Uh, your feedback is very key in, in the channel, whether you think it is or not. Please comment, like the video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next... And until next time, folks. I'll see you next time, folks.